rivers flow downstream downhill that's just the way it works right it starts at the top in the mountains and they wind their way down the valleys until they make it eventually to the ocean um, and there's actually sports built around this where people jump in these inflatable rafts and allow the current in all its power to drive them down um, it's kind of crazy the people who do <laughs> to do it because the current can be so powerful and the ride can be so rough that it just seems ridiculous that you would want to allow yourself to be taken down by this current um, but it's a perfect metaphor for the world right because in the world our culture our society drives everything we say everything we think everything we do and it's powerful uh, as much as we want to go a certain direction our culture pulls us down hill and as a Christian as one who seeks to follow God it seems like we're trying to swim upstream and it seems impossible because the power of the current of our culture of our society of the world can be so powerful that it just seems impossible that we'll ever be able to faithfully follow God um, you know being a Christian you're attacked you're you're persecuted you're ridiculed and mocked uh, people will throw stereotypes at you they'll call you names and there's just there's just so much uh, going against us as Christians and that's what Job today in chapter 12 is talking about in our reading he says I have become the sport of my neighbors the one whom God answers when he calls upon him the just the perfect man is a laughing stock and it, it it's true it, it doesn't exactly make you want to follow Jesus because you know you would assume that okay if I say yes to God if I'm following his call then things are going to go easy, you know, it's going to be smooth sailing, but that's not the case. To follow Jesus is a very challenging lifestyle. And Jesus even talks about, you know, the, it's a narrow, the narrow path because um, the way that most people follow, the, the comfortable way, the easy way, is to just kind of let that current take you. But to be a Christian is to go against that, to go against the current, to swim upstream. Think of the salmon, right? The salmon... Uh, they're famous for the way that they every year make their way from the salt waters of the ocean back up the rivers all the way up into the mountains where they will breed and have their family and it's amazing to watch how they overcome all these obstacles how they continue to battle that current um, face you know other predators the bears that are just waking up from hibernation are hungry and they're you know out there just waiting for the salmon to swim by so they can rip them out of the water and snack on them for lunch that's that's the life of a Christian right it doesn't sound very appealing but that's how it is right we're swimming upstream we're going against all these forces especially the the, the, the current of the world um, Jesus says this though and he warns us. A lot of people, you know, like I said, they have this misconception. Oh, if I be a Christian, if I follow Jesus, everything's going to be easy. Everything's going to be smooth sailing. But Jesus says this. In Matthew 10, he says, You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. He says again in, in John 15, he says, If the world hates you, realize it hated me first. So that's our warning. That's, you know, we have to know that, of course, to be Christian, to follow Jesus, we're going to face challenges. We're going to face uh, hatred and that's what that's what Jesus says so they're not uh, they're not very inspiring words it doesn't make you want to say okay Jesus let's do this it doesn't make you feel that way but most often we think uh, uh, about following God we think smooth sailing life is easy but as we've seen today that is not the case so but I think uh, Job in his situation he feels you know it's pointless to hold on to this faith in God if it seems that all odds are against him, right? You know, it's probably the way some of us feel sometimes when there's so much against us. Uh, why not just give in and go with the flow of the current of the rest of the world? Well, Jesus has some other very important words, and these words are more inspiring uh, and more, they, they give us hope. And he says in this his Sermon on the Mount, the famous scene where he's up on the mountain and he's preaching to this enormous crowd of people. He said, blessed are you, when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. So think about it. Jesus 
dealt with the same problem, right? He dealt with all these same attacks that we face, yet he continued swimming upstream. That's what's, that's what's so radical about Jesus. He went against the current, and he didn't allow the power of the world to take hold of him. So we've got to find hope in his example, but also hope in his message. We've got to trust that what Jesus says is true and that he's faithful to his promise, because that is a promise. He says, rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. So that's a promise. Sounds like a promise to me. And we got to trust that Jesus will be faithful to his promise. I'm Ricky Jones of Leaders That Follow. Have a blessed day.